Hello everybody, it's Skull Queen and welcome back to another video. I seriously feel like it's been forever since I've filmed. It's been over a week since I've even opened up this game. But if you don't know, my husband and I recently just moved into our first home, so it's been very chaotic. Thank you guys so much for being patient with me while I've been going through this transition. And I apologize if it's a little bit echoey in here because I still don't have a lot of the things hung up on the wall. You know, it's kind of empty. So please bear with me. I'm just really excited though to be able to play the game and have a little bit of a distraction. So today on the island, I think what I want to do is actually build an abandoned park. It's kind of been one of my ideas since the beginning and I think it would go perfectly right here. And this area is right next to resident services and right behind this abandoned shopping center as well as the museum. So as you can see, I have mapped it out with some light dirt pathing. And I think we're just gonna go ahead and surround this whole area with some fencing and then start placing some park-like items around. So let me go ahead and get my pockets full and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I just picked up a ton of the fence item and I hope it's enough, I'm sure it will be. But I'm just gonna go ahead and start placing these around. And my whole idea for this park is to maybe have some kind of abandoned basketball court or I don't know, maybe some soccer goals, maybe a volleyball court. I don't even know for sure. All I've known though is that I want to make some kind of abandoned park. Yeah, I think that looks okay. And I really wish that the fencing connected right there. That bugs me so much. But I guess there's not too much we can actually do about that. So let's just go ahead and keep lining this. Yeah, I think it's looking good so far. My only concern is if I actually have enough of the fencing item. I might have to time travel a few days and get some more, but let's just see if we can make this work. Oh, let me tell you guys too about the situation that happened when we first moved into this house. So the first couple days we were just exhausted from moving. It's extremely hot where we live. It's already over 100 degrees. So we were just dead after two days of moving basically by ourselves. We were exhausted, so we didn't even try to set up the internet or anything until Monday. And lo and behold, our internet did not work. And I was freaking out because I work from home, I do YouTube, I need internet. You know, like there's no way we can function. And our TV runs on internet, we have no cable. So that was fun. We were on the phone with the internet provider for like four hours on Monday. And they had to have a tech come out here and he was seriously in and out in probably 10, 15 minutes total and it was working after two or three days without internet because they didn't come until uh, Wednesday. So Monday, I didn't work. Tuesday, I had to work from a Starbucks, okay? Which wasn't the worst. I mean, I could have had to go into the office. That would have been worse, but Still, not being able to work from home was not too fun. So luckily now we do have our internet. We just still do not have a dishwasher that is supposed to be getting connected um, tomorrow, I think. And we still don't have a lot of our outlet covers on the outlets. We still have to do all of our flooring. We have to replace our fans that are just sitting in the third room. And yeah, I'm just trying to forget about all of that by distracting myself with Animal Crossing. So yeah, this weekend we'll probably start installing the flooring after the dishwasher is installed. So that'll be fun, especially because all of our furniture is already in here. So yeah, that's my life if you guys are curious. But let's, let's hear what's going on with you guys. If you guys have any cool stories you wanna share, let me know because I love connecting with you and just getting to know the people who watch me a little bit more. It's really fun for me. Oh my gosh, look at Wolfgang. I love him. Um, but yeah, I really think I'm not gonna have enough of the fence item, which is not fun at all, but let's see how much we can get away with here. And as you can probably tell, I'm not really caring about anything matching at all. So yeah, that's fun. Since you can't even really see them back here, I might just 
skip out on a couple to try to save, but we'll see if it even works. And I do want there to be an entrance basically just from this side. Maybe we'll open up one on this side eventually, but for now, I really just want it to be accessible from right here. So I'm just gonna place a couple more. Okay, so it doesn't close perfectly right here, but who is gonna know, right? So that's fine, but I think this looks pretty cool, this whole enclosed little moment that we have going on. So I think first too, I wanna place some pathing, maybe a tree or a tree stump or something like that. So hmm, maybe we'll do custom designs first and then trees, I'm not exactly sure. It's been so long, hold on, let me open my Truly because I need a drink. So good. By the way, if you haven't had the Truly margaritas, you're missing out because they're amazing. Strawberry hibiscus, top tier, just saying. But yeah, so maybe we'll just do, I think right here at the entrance, I kind of want to do one of those body outlines. So let's do that. Um, okay, well, his body is chopped in half. Let's not do that. And I'm debating if I want to do some of this like broken brick pattern at all up here, or if I just want to do some of this daisy path on it. I'm really torn. I'll worry about that later. I'll just do these like custom designs sprinkled around. I do want to do the help one. So maybe I can go like right in the middle. Okay, I think that looks good. And what other designs do we want? Definitely need some bloody hands. So we'll start with that. I don't want to go too overboard and overwhelm myself. I do want to add some trees. I don't know if I want to do trees, stumps, or baby trees, or a little bit of both. Or maybe I can do a baby tree stump. That's an idea. So I think I do just want there to be a straight up cedar tree over here. Isabel keeps yelling at me because I don't have enough nature on this island and I feel like I have a lot. I've added so many secret flowers and trees and everything. Look at it, I have like a horde of flowers over here. I have trees and bushes lined up here. Behind pretty much every cliff, I have a row of flowers that aren't visible, but will hopefully help my island rating score, you would think, but I don't know. Isabel is a bitch, you know what I mean? And then I do want to do another regular sapling, but have it be a stump, I think. I kind of want it to be like in the middle, kind of in the way. So we'll do it right here. Okay. I'm gonna go forward two days and then decide which ones I wanna stunt and which one I want to chop. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Yay, okay, so we're here two days in the future and this baby tree is adorable. Oh my God. Oh, I don't wanna chop any of them down. Okay. Yeah, this one I'm keeping because that is just too cute. So I need to stunt this. So we're gonna keep this one stunted. We're gonna let this one grow maybe and then maybe let that one grow also and chop this bye bye baby tree let me just try to map out what sports things i even want to use and where we're gonna put them so let's see here okay hold up i have to go maybe on nookazon and try to get basketball hoop Okay, well, Nookazon is being very delayed. I'm not able to get a response right away and kind of don't want to continue with the build unless I have those items. So I guess we'll just put the video on pause and then I'll come back once I'm able to obtain those items because I just don't want to be too spread out and confused and all of that. So yeah, I will be back. Okay guys, I am back and thankfully I was able to get a couple basketball hoops so we can go ahead and continue on with our build. But I do think I wanna put some of the black pathing that I have down. I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the Island Designer app and we'll just play around a little bit. We'll see what ends up happening. And I don't know if I'll leave any of this part in. I might just cut through to when the pathing is done, but 
If I have anything interesting to say, then I guess I will leave it in. Right here, these harsh lines have to stay because I don't have the middle pieces with the edges on either side, but that's okay. I wanna pick a few weeds also and place some of those around, but um, let's go ahead and see where we want our actual basketball court to go. And I think I'm just gonna go ahead and shut this down. And you can tell that this took me a while because now we are well into golden hour. That's okay, because this is one of my favorite times in the whole game. But for the basketball court, I actually have quite a few park type items. We have a ball catcher, speed bag. Here's one of the hoops. I don't know if I want it to be like right in the middle or kind of off to the side a little bit, because if you come in from this side, you don't want to walk right into it. You know what I mean? So maybe we'll kind of have it snug against this side yeah i think that looks good and it doesn't impede too much with the walkway so we can keep that for now for back here maybe this is where we can do the ball catcher and the benches okay i think that's looking pretty good and i don't really know what to do over here in this corner we do also have a volleyball net so we could just pop one of those like right here we also have a speed bag a fence we have some scooters and tire toys so let me grab let me see what else we have that's like sports related okay so i grabbed a lot of random items and this is going to be kind of a hodgepodge of a park but that's okay there's no rules so let's try to find the volleyball net that I found. Here we go. So we can place that right over here and then the ball catcher for it can maybe go back here. You know, where are those little jungle gyms? Do you have to get those at resident services? Let me see this the playground gym okay so i'm gonna get one of these then i'm gonna time travel and customize it so then i'll be right back okay so i got the playground gym customized so let's go ahead and see if we want to place this here or keep the sandbox not exactly sure oh that's pretty cute and can't you sit on this thing oh you can that's cool i think for the rest of the stuff we could just kind of scatter it around and make it look a little bit disheveled i think for the dead body i want that to go pretty much right here so where is our rescue mannequin here we go so he can greet you i thought i had another fence in my pocket but i guess not Okay, but for the stadium lights, I definitely want one to go right here. Or I could even put them at the entrance. That would be pretty cool. Oh, noise. Okay, so this all needs to go down. Cool, like how that's looking. Okay, so what do we think so far? Thinking it looks good. I just don't know where to put the other stadium light. I love that item. For the tire toys, hmm, I kind of just want to scatter things like I said earlier. So we just need to figure out where we're going to put the stage flame machines. So I kind of just want to do like a tire toy, maybe right here, then another one over here. Oh, it's so adorable. Okay, I'm liking it. Oh yeah, and then the stage flame machine. One can go here. Yes. The scoreboard we can just post up like right here. Where is it? Cool. I love that. Yeah, I just want this whole park to look random and disheveled and like nobody's been paying attention to it for a while. So that speed bag is right here. Oh my gosh, I freaking love this. Okay, it's a baseball set. We can just plop that somewhere. Something needs to go over here, but not anything that's gonna be too in the way. Uh, maybe a bike? Kind of like someone just rode in and left the bike here. And I'm not sure what to put against this wall. We could do one of the anatomical models since we haven't included that yet. So I really might just keep it at this and just add some weeds and flowers. And I think we might be good with that. I just love how random it is. It's kind of what I was going for. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab some weeds and flowers, then I will be right back. 
Okay, so I have flowers and weeds and I also grabbed a few bushes. So we'll go ahead and just place this stuff around and then I'll time travel to my foggy day and we'll get the final walkthrough. I'm so excited to see how this looks with some overgrown weeds. So basically anywhere there's a spot for weeds, I kind of want to put some there. Don't know where the bush is gonna go. Okay, I'm pretty happy with how I have the weeds placed and I think I got everything back pretty much where it was before. I feel like this little area is a little bit off, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and time travel to my foggy day. And hopefully the weeds will be grown in by then and then we can do the final walkthrough. So one last time, I will be right back. All right, everybody, we have made it to the final walkthrough. So if we come through the front entrance here, we have our little kitty section down here in the bottom right corner. And right over here, we have our basketball hoop. And it seriously took me an hour and a half to find these basketball hoops on Nookazon. So hope you guys can respect the hustle. And back here, we have our ball storage. We have our stadium lights little punching bag that we have over here. Also our dead bodies that happen to be all over this island, so you shouldn't be surprised by now. And last but not least, our little volleyball court and tire toy section. So this park was so much fun to build. I'm not sure what's going on with the weeds here, but I'm hoping that once I pick some more and go a little bit more in the future that they'll end up growing in. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me build this abandoned dystopian park. It's one of the builds that I've been wanting to do since the beginning. All right, everybody, that is gonna do it for today's video. If you're still here, thank you so much. Please consider liking and subscribing, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.